Hi, I'm NKK and welcome to your African home. Today we're touring a beautiful three-bedroom townhouse located in 23 Hills, adjacent to Trosaco Springs. Brought to you by Seso Global. Let's take a look inside. Hi. Hi, Derek. How are you? Hi, NKK. I'm fine. Come inside. Thanks for showing us around. It's no beautiful. No problem. Yes, I know. So, this is the living room you're staying in right now. It's a double volume living room. Mm. The idea was to try as much as possible to create that exorbitant space, mm. you know. So, we tried as much as possible to, you know, use the double volume mm. to create that kind of, you know, exorbitancy so that you experience that, you know, that grandeur. Yeah. We are trying as much as possible to communicate affordability and luxury. We, we, we are just trying to make people understand that it can work together mm. one way or the other. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a $1 million home. Mm. We can still work with affordability and luxury as well. So you look at the little details, you see that marble effect on the, the TV, TV wall, mm -hmm. and you see, you see that green velvet touch, you see that um, console table at the back with yeah. a decorative element on it. You know, just to create that little, little piece of luxury, yeah. but very, very habitable space as well. The living area should be luxurious mm. because that is where you have a lot of public interaction. Yeah, you know, you bring your guests you here. You bring your guests, you know. You know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's, it creates that, you know, kind of good feel for your guests and for yourself. Yeah. This is basically the first impression of the house. Exactly. Right? So exactly. you come in. And you have this that is what good feel see. and all that. And you just look to your right. Mm. You see that beautiful, beautiful setup the for a dining area. area. Mm. Beautiful setup for a dining area. Let me tell area. you, I love a good dining space. Who doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we are trying as much as possible to let the house fit for anybody who is coming to Ghana. Mm. You know, for the past few years during the year of return till now we've yeah. experienced quite a number of expats diasporans and people who want to invest in ghana mm. so we created a space that okay if an american is living here and wants to have thanksgiving has a family size you know yeah. dining as compared to the local standards that we work with here so so i think the thing that touches me the most are the little details right so you see the light fixtures mm um the designs on the wall like it seems like you guys really made and paid attention to the finishing details of the house like it feels very well put together very well thought yes 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 the details were very important for us because it's it's what speaks for the for the for the spaces mm. you know currently people don't put much effort in their finishing and details mm. and um moving moving into this this conversation i'll let you understand why the need was yeah. to put to put so much emphasis in details and you know special organization mm. and so these little little details go a long way yeah. for both us and the client yeah. because it helps us in our marketing it helps the client who is purchasing the property to in also appreciating luxury as well. Yeah. So we're about to move into the kitchen. kitchen. I love a kitchen. Ooh, that, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. So tell me a little bit about the space. Okay, the kitchen is one other very 
it's days that we really put so much details into it because mm. if a couple is standing here the lady will, will be convinced to buy the Sometimes property. Sometimes a man, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> well, yeah, but largely, yeah. largely, the lady will be more convinced that, hey, man, we should buy the property because the kitchen picture. speaks very good for itself. So, yeah. yes. So, with, with the details, we have the worktop being cut. Mm. And we put in so much, you know, attention to the worktop because it's what gives the kitchen its, you know, um, a relevant touch, mm -hmm. you know. So we made sure that it's it's an illuminating part. Because yeah. you see that when light falls and it, you yeah, see, you can see the sparkles. Yes, some yeah. little sparkles coming out of it. So that's what you have. You have it at the stove area. You have it at the sink area, mm. and you know it's it's very interactive as well. Yeah, that's that's the most important thing. So a that's lot the wet Yeah, you have the gray cabinets, and you have the white touch as well. You know, white and gray. They really work together because a lighter version of gray is white and yeah. a darker version of white is gray. gray. Mm. So that's the best way to, you know, work with the, the, colors. With the colors. Mm. Yeah. You want to make sure that nothing is off. Everything builds from one point to the other. Yeah. And everything has the best details that can be added or given to it. Yeah. So that's what we put in for the kitchen as well. Um, I just wanted to know, so are the fridge and the microwave and oven, all, are they all included? Yes. Get the so when you get the furnished option, you have all that included. Actually, mm. when you buy it without the furnished option, you have this. Still included. Still. Wow, look at that. You guys so are so generous. It's a fully fitted <laughs> kitchen. Yeah, it's okay, okay. Fitted. So we could also move to the other spaces. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is the guest bedroom? Yes, this is the guest bedroom downstairs. Okay. Um, so, yes. This space quite spacious enough for your guests. Mm. Um, you have your media wall. Mm. You have your oh, closet nice. here. You have your washroom, bathroom, just right behind you. Okay. That's right there. What we try to achieve in this space with respect to ventilation and internal cooling, mm. you have your AC here. Yeah. AC is not supposed to directly be on you know, the person. For, yeah. Yes. The room signs mm. doesn't advise that you put AC over. So you put it in a cut across. Yeah. Also, ventilation is supposed to go across. It doesn't have to go over you. Yeah. So that's why you have a cross with ventilation. Two windows. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, you have yeah. the air running in. Yeah and pushing hot air out, yeah. making cold air in. Oh, lovely, yes. yeah. And I also do like, I mean, just um, light-wise, the two windows, exactly. so much light. So yeah. allow natural light. You are not supposed to be extra dependent on artificial light True. or light from the ECG. Yeah. Or you also need sometimes is natural light. Yeah. yeah. So that's why we try to achieve both air and natural light. So you, I mean, generally, you are not largely dependent on the AC mm -hmm. and the light inside. You have all the natural ones you have. Okay, okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. And so, like I said early on, this um, closet was locally. Locally I mean, made. I mean, made, manufactured, and also put together by locals. Oh, Very beautiful. good locals as well. Yeah. You see, you can't really tell the difference between no, you these really and can. the Western ones. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Now, it's, this is just to tell you that we have good stuff in our We do, we definitely do, yes, honestly. Yes, it's very quality stuff too. So I guess we can go upstairs. Yes, definitely. Okay. Our next beautiful space. Actually, there are a lot of elements of surprise as yeah. we go upstairs. Yeah. So I think the one thing that I love yeah. is how tall the ceiling is and how much space yeah. there is here. Yes. I mean, the beauty of having a real estate property giving you that sense of grandeur mm. is achieving that using double volume. Mm -hmm. That's one of the best um, architectural means yeah. of achieving grandeur or I mean volume yeah. in spaces so you can achieve a lot of sunlight because you can see here that this three bay floor to ceiling window mm. is giving you a lot of light and what we did was we used a translucent lazy curtain mm. to allow light through yeah. so that it wouldn't you know block it and if you want the place very cool and cozy you could just roll this smart curtain back to Ooh, create that kind of darkness you lovely, yes. lovely. that's the element of surprise <laughs> i was telling you about Okay, so 
So currently where we are seated is the family area. Now the family area, this setup is just, you know, uh, let me say, a setup just for the, for the show. But you can change this setup into any way you want it to be. Because you have a media wall right behind you oh, nice. where you can put your TV, you can put the couch. You know, there are times where you have visitors and the living area, you want you don't want the kids to be there whilst they're watching TV yeah. together, having a discussion, you know, you don't want all that intrusion. So you, there's this space that you create for them so that they can have that. You can also have, you know, a family communal space mm-hmm. where you can have your devotions, you can have, you know, just that space that is the immediate space you can gather yeah, yeah. instead of going all the way down. Yeah, that yeah. immediate space. I mean, even because it's close to the bedroom. To the bedroom, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So the proximity to the bedrooms is lower as compared to the one down. And so it's, you know, it creates that kind of efficiency when you're moving to the spaces. So, yes. So yes, this is the master bedroom. Wow. Yes. Currently, mostly we call it festival bedroom. It's said that back in the slave days, that's when you call this space a master bedroom because that's oh, why you call okay. master for the masters. Yes. Yes. So now it's called right. principal. The principal bedroom. I'm moving forward with that because yes. you don't <laughs> exactly. decolonize, decolonize that term. Exactly, exactly. Wow, okay. Exactly. So, Stunning. Yes, I, I said you would find very beautiful element of surprise here. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Okay, so you know, unveil the surprises. Show me, show me the little okay. pieces. Yeah. Okay, so we have the wooden uh, fluted panels mm. on the wall, creating that sense of you know uh, beauty and also length. Yes, yes, volume, length as mm-hmm. well. Um, luxury touch. You know, wood has this luxury touch too. Yeah. So yes, that's dark what wood we're exactly. Like that. And that's exactly dark wood. You see that. So that's the luxury touch we wanted to add. They have this very beautiful queen size um, master bed. Mm. We have this um, console, this small coffee console table. You have your media wall. Okay. When we talk about media wall in architecture, largely it's about the wall where you have your TV yeah. and your sound and everything. And you see this beautiful wall mounted. Light, yeah. light. Oh. I love the floor. The floor actually, exactly. Yes. So when we, if you can realize, mm-hmm. the spaces have a lighter texture than the rooms. Yes. We wanted to create spatial difference, yes. even with the floors as well. Okay. A little bit to the extreme right, yeah. you see the full length mirror. The full length mirror. Yes. And it's directly opposite the walk in closet. Yes. And you realize that. Smart thinking. Yes. You guys thought. <laughs> yes. you, thought. Yeah. you come out, going to work, you see this beautiful thing in this mirror, you're good to go. Okay, also, please, we have to go inside this walk in closet. Oh. Literally twirl. <laughs> wow. Yes. So much space. So much space for your luggages at the top. You have for your um, hanging clothes. Yeah. You have for your. You can even put a mirror in here. Yeah. You can put your dresses Bags, and shoes. Shoes. Oh. Everything. You have your nice. clothes here. Yeah. You can put your watches. Your everything can be accommodated here. So you can see this light popping up here. Yeah. Let's just do something. Let's press it. Oh, wow. Yes. This is stunning. Yes. This is the luxury touch you add to the space as well. Mm. Just for that little makeup you do, the, those little, little stuff that you do, you can just do all that here. Yeah. You have all your items that you can put here as well. And I, I love this back. Yes. As well. So yeah. we wanted to create emphasis, focal point. So we use the tiles as well to create emphasis and focal points. See, yes, I'm focused. Yes, <laughs> yes. focus. So the moment you enter into the space, you see 
just this section creates that kind of focal point. Yeah. Yes. And that's exactly what I wanted to achieve. And the detail mm. is just amazing. Now you look to your right. Mm. You see this beautiful bathtub. bathtub. I love that. It's shaped like an egg. Yes. Okay. Whoever is in is precious. Oh, that's nice. I also thought you were going to say because Ghanaians like eggs. Ah! <laughs> no. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but wow. Okay. Yes, yes, Beautiful yes. bathtub. It's amazing. And then a huge shower. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely huge. Shower. It's just beautiful, generally. Yes. You have your shower and you have your. Finally, our tour ended with a viewing of the third bedroom, which has its own bathroom. If you are interested in this property, be sure to contact Cecil Global with the following details. So, now, imagine someone watches this video and they want to buy a home. Yes. How much? <laughs> you know, what, what's the money saying? <laughs> you, know? you have the letter A, you have the letter B. What's the difference between the two? Okay, the type A is 234 square meters okay. and the type B is 194 square meters. So on the type A, you have the void where you have a double volume at the living area. Okay. But the type B, you don't have, you have a seal at the top. Okay, yes. okay, so it wouldn't have the same seal. Yes, it won't have that same like double volume. It's like closed at the top okay. like that. Yes, so you climb the stairs onto the top. So you don't, you don't appreciate that whole volume right, you right. Right there, yes. like I said earlier. Exactly, so that's the that's some of the little difference. And the outlook is a little different, but it's almost the same as well. Mm -hmm. So then in terms of mortgage partners, who are you working with? Okay, so we've contacted Steinbeck Bank, mm -hmm. we contacted Republic Bank, and we, we've also contacted Echo Bank. So we are working hand in hand with them. We we are finalizing our deals with them so that I mean we can also help in the middle as well to also go by the Mortgage route. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so largely they are the people that we, we are working with and finalizing all mortgage plans with. Okay. Yeah. Say somebody buys this and yeah. they're investing in property. Sure. Do you know the kind of returns that they could be making? Okay, so um, with respect to that, we, we can't go into be, details yeah, yeah, yeah. with the kind of returns, but their return on investment, you're looking at somewhere between 40 to 50 percent return on investment. Wow. Yes. Wow. If you are looking at a long term, you know, you can probably be making about good amount, you can use it as, I mean, good amount of returns, mm -hmm. you know, if you are putting it out for rent, especially. Airbnb works perfectly as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have the Olympic Stadium, not so far away, it's like a kilometer away from us, mm -hmm. where Ghana will be hosting the All African Games 2023 mm -hmm. in August. It was supposed to be in June, but I think they are putting the infrastructure together, mm -hmm. and it's in August now, and we will have a lot of Africans diaspora has come over into Ghana. Yeah. And if they find that properties are around for them to you know, purchase, for them to stay Airbnb and rent, they will be using it. This property is the best. Yeah. Later on in Ghana is going to go global mm -hmm. and start Olympic Games. It means that this place is also going to be another place that's open to the world. So the the opportunities and the visions and the and the and the investments, you know, risk are low here yeah. and the investment uh, opportunities and, and, and importance are high mm -hmm. when you when you try to get a property here. Yeah. You know? and I yeah. think safety is a big concern for me. Concern, exactly. You know, um, especially let's say if you're inviting people from the diaspora. Sure. You know, there's an idea that things are dangerous in Africa. But yeah. then at least we're peaceful, you know. Peaceful, very peaceful. But of course people still want security. Exactly. So how are the ways that you Ensure people are safe here. Okay, security here, we are also very, very big on security. Mm -hmm. um, for our property at uh, Cantonment, we, 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 we got people on board, they are called G4S. It's oh, a global, okay. it's a yes. global, global. I don't know, they secure. Yeah, <laughs> they secure. Yeah. Yeah. So they are the same individuals that we also want to put on board yeah. for this property as well. So they are very, very, very professional. Mm -hmm. 
and the other elements of security want to use, want to use the electric fence all around the data community to prevent anybody from jumping or you know, you know scaling over the walls to enter into the community. We also have so we have the security personnel advantage point. We have about four. We have a vantage point and we have one station at the gate so that you know security can well be you know, managed on on, on site. Thank you for watching Your African Home. If you are interested in this property, please contact Cecil Global with the details on the screen. Cecil Global is your trusted real estate partner and we assist you from the A to Z of your real estate journey at no cost to you, the buyer. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.